assalamu alaikum everyone today we are going to conduct lecture number 20 of this online session uh, and the topic of today's lecture is arithmetic instructions and it is going to be second lecture on this topic so let's proceed to our topic okay today's lecture is about subtraction instructions so we gonna see number of subtraction instructions uh, available for 8086 assembly language programming uh, very first instruction is sub sub and the meaning of is basically subtract so it's like add command so we have a subtract instruction as well so the format is similar to the add command sub d comma s so what what is going to happen in subtraction you know that uh, one need to know uh, what is subtracted from what value so here you're going to subtract source value from the destination value or source operand from the destination operand and whatever the result it will also transfer to the destination one thing which is important here and need to be uh, one need to be careful about it that uh, after the execution of this instruction definitely the content of uh, source sorry destin destination operand will be modified so uh, we need to care about it and if it is important we need to save it somewhere before this operation one thing more we know that uh, it might happen sometime that we are subtracting a larger value from a smaller value so we may, we may need a borrow and that borrow is indicated in carry flag so uh, whenever there is a borrow generation that borrow will indicate it in carry flag and how carry flag will report it carry flag will become equals to one so whenever there is a borrow carry flag will be equals to one in subtraction operation uh, furthermore this uh, sub instruction can actually uh, affect number of instructions so number of uh, flag registers so these are different flag bits which can be factored by uh, subtraction is uh, subtraction instruction uh, I hope you have gone through uh, the emulator practice while you were doing uh, addition instructions practice so now you are going to practice uh, sub instruction as well and I will also uh, follow some of the examples okay the second instruction that we need to discuss is SBB that means subtraction with borrow uh, remember if uh, in the last lecture if you remember uh, we had an instruction ADC which means addition with carry in which we were supposed we were supposed to add not only source and destination operand but also carry operand so here uh, we will be subtracting in the similar manner uh, so let's see format format is similar SBB D comma S so SBB is the mnemonic of this instruction D is for destination operand S for source operand similarly the operation is destination minus source minus carry flag and remember that carry is of course uh, here indicating the borrow that is why it is written subtraction with borrow so not only source is subtracted from the destination but also uh, borrow is also subtracted and in case if there is a, com a borrow in complete operation that borrow will be going towards uh, carry flag and these, there are a number of uh, bits of state status register which can get effect from these uh, uh, from this execution or from this command SPB so these are mentioned here okay now let's move to a third instruction that is about DEC command or that is DAC decrement by one it is the meaning so whatever uh, the operand you are going to use that operand will be decremented by one uh, for example the format is D D E C D T is here destination operand so what is going to happen whatever the value of destination operand it will be decremented by 1 that is why D minus 1 so it will become uh, so the result will be decremented by 1 and the result will restore in destination operand so there can be number of flags which can be affected by this command so that is uh, these these bits are mentioned here uh, one can notice that carry flag is not affected that is why it is not written here so only five bits are affecting 
five bits of flag register so that's why these bits are mentioned here okay fourth number command is neg nage natch for negative so nag command is basically for negative and uh, its meaning is quite easy to understand whenever we want to make a number negative for example if number is plus one we want to make it number minus one we have to use this negative command so what is the format nag d or negative d that means what is going to happen with the d or the destination operand it will be subtracted from zero of course if you are subtracting minus one from zero that will become plus one and if you are subtracting plus one from zero that will become minus one so that is the purpose of subtracting from the zero so destination bit or destination operand will be subtracted from zero and it will be, it will become uh, negative and that will result store in uh, uh, destination operand one thing more definitely once you, you once you are going to subtract from zero so you will definitely need a borrow and uh, uh, that borrow will definitely go to carry flag so that is why one is will be reported by carry flag in negative operation so every time one is going to use negative instruction carry flag will become equals to one uh, and these are different uh, flag bits which are affected so these are mentioned here okay number five instruction it is very interesting instruction and it is similar to aad if you remember ascii adjustment after addition uh, sorry a triple a that was and now to, we have double a s that is ascii adjustment for subtraction so whenever you uh, perform uh, subtraction of ascii uh, numbers using hexadecimal number remember emulator always use hexadecimal so uh, we are using uh, subtraction of ascii uh, or we are performing subtraction of ascii numbers but using hexadecimal so one need to adjust the result and that result can be adjusted using this command if that uh, adjustment is required after subtraction so double a s it is simple format we don't need any operand because it is just uh, adjust the result performed by the last execution uh, so these are the flags which can be affected and furthermore there are some flags which uh, flag bits which are undefined so they do not change their statuses so that's why they, those are also mentioned okay the last command that we are going to use in subtraction instructions that is das decimal adjustment for addition uh, decimal adjustment for subtraction that means uh, the format is das and that will be uh, used whenever uh, one is going to use bcd subtraction so if you are subtracting a bcd number using a hexadecimal number uh, so maybe your your result required certain adjustment so that is, uh, adjustment can be performed using this command das that means decimal adjustment after subtraction operation and there are number of flags which can get effect and there are some the flags which are undefined or they do not change their statuses so they those are mentioned here in this chart uh, i hope these instructions are clear let's proceed to emulator so that we can see their effects in real time okay let's do the emulator example for sub instruction okay what we gonna do okay let's say we are subtracting uh, Seven eight two four hex from uh, maybe uh, from uh, seven eight zero nine. That's it. This is the subtraction we are going to perform. So, what we are going to do? First of all, we gonna move these numbers in some register. Let's say move ax comma seven eight two four hacks then we gonna move the next number which is move px comma 7809 so now these numbers are moved inside the internal registers uh, using the immediate register we did uh, this thing uh, okay now what's okay we need to subtract okay we gonna subtract uh, ax comma uh, 
uh, BX remember uh, AX is our destination bit here so we gonna uh, destination operand so we have to put the number from which we have to subtract inside this AX register and BX is that thing which is going to subtract it so that is 7809 okay that's it uh, this is a simple program let's evaluate it I just press evaluate button so one can see the source code this is first line uh, let's see what happen if I am going to press single step okay this is single step now the result 7824 is already uploaded in uh, AX, AX register one can see here okay next single step that means 7809 is loaded in BX register okay now what we are going to do we are gonna subtract and for just for your convenience we can do it here uh, 7 at 2 4 minus 7 at 0 9 okay it is just uh, an hexadecimal number uh, I forgot to mention some uh, alphanumeric so next example I'm, I'm going to use some alphanumeric so 4, 9, 4 minus 9 is it possible no you have to take a carry so uh, in carry in hexadecimal would be equals to what 16 so 16 plus 4 become 20 so 29 minus 20 minus 9 would be equal to 11 and that means result would be B I hope this point is clear I just repeat uh, it is a hexadecimal number so whenever if we take a carry carry will be equal to the base and base in hexadecimal is equal to 16 so 16 is a carry 16 plus 4 that becomes 20 20 minus 9 would be 11 and in 11 is mentioned as B in hexadecimal okay one was gone there so it is 1 minus 0 it become 1 8 minus 8 it become 0 and 0 minus 0 it become 0 so I hope this point is clear to everyone uh, it is a good practice before uh, performing this uh, 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 subtraction from emulator we can use it manually so let's perform yes result is same as we were expecting so I hope this subtraction instruction is clear furthermore one can see uh, the effect on okay let me adjust yeah For, furthermore one can see the effect on uh, carry flags as well so we don't see any carry flags or we see a parity flag and an auxiliary flag if you remember we took a auxiliary borrow from second hexadecimal to the first hexadecimal symbol that's why its auxiliary carry flag is equals to one and parity flag remember it mentions the number of ones uh, so parity is even that is why it is equal to one uh, okay if we want to see is there and a borrow so we have to subtract a larger number from a uh, smaller number so what we can do we can reverse this process okay what is going to happen uh, that will be very interesting uh, let's say just reverse this process we put 7809 uh, and 7824 here so this time we will be subtracting 7 uh, we will be subtracting 7824 from 7809 definitely we are subtracting a uh, larger number from a smaller number so there must be a carry and before uh, this uh, effect we can actually modify uh, we can perform this addition manually so 7809 is above 78 Two four is down so let's see what is going to happen a 9 minus 4 that will become 5 it is quite easy uh, 0 minus 2 it is not possible so we have to take a carry from this number and that would become 16 to so 16 minus 2 would be what 16 minus 2 would be 14 and 14 is reported as E so that will become E so now it this is not 8 rather 7 and 7 minus 8 it's not possible so we have to take a carry uh, and carry is 16 so 16 plus 7 would be equal to 23 23 minus 8 it will be equal to what it will be equal to uh, 15 yes so that would become F 
again now this is 6 minus 7 which is not possible so we have to take a carry uh, let's say a carry is here uh, I'm sorry yes so 16 plus 6 22 22 minus 7 would become again F so this is how result should be appearing uh, let me put these things in column so this is just a this is just a comment now so let's emulate this program now uh, we press single step 7809 is loaded in AX again 7824 is loaded here and again if we perform so one can clearly see that FFEF and this borrow is generated to indicate that uh, uh, borrow was there so I hope this point is clear when we subtract a larger number from a smaller number so a borrow will generate and a borrow will be reported in carry flag furthermore the sign flag is high because this is number this number this result is negative uh, because if you convert it into binary you can see four times at one four times one 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 zero and then zero one zero one so most significant bit of this uh, number is one which is indicating that it is a negative number that's why sign flag is high i hope this all uh, example is clear okay let's do the sbb command and this time we gonna use a borrow as well so we have to subtract a larger number from a smaller number first so let's subtract uh, uh, let's say f0 f089 from uh, what from what can what we can do uh, from let's say EF I'm also using alphanumeric this time so things become more easy okay EF12 okay uh, no yeah so we will be subtracting this number from this number so we are subtracting a larger number from a uh, smaller number and so there will be a borrow and we will be using this command so next time we will also subtract the result whatever the result we will be subtracting it from some other value let's say we will be subtracting the result uh, from 2508 okay so let's see how we gonna do this thing just to see the effect of SPB command so let's say move first of all we gonna subtract move uh, so move x uh, f089 we know that it would be invalid so we have to put a, a zero before this number so that it is acceptable then move bx is equal to ef12 it is again unacceptable so we put a zero before it so now these two numbers are here so we have to subtract from bx uh, so that should be sub bx comma ax so now result will be there will be a borrow we are going to see it uh, furthermore okay let's do this first so that uh, okay the first instruction that we are okay I'm just moving it yes okay first instruction is move ax f0 f0 0 f089 so f089 is here next instruction ef12 is here now we are subtracting what uh, okay let me do it manually here ef12 and we are subtracting f089 so let's see what gonna happen uh, 2 minus 9 that's not possible so one borrow will be here 16 minus 16 plus 2 that will become 18 18 minus 9 would be 9 that become easy 0 minus 8 it's not possible so we have to take one borrow here so 1 means 16 16 minus 8 would be simply 8 okay that's correct so far that is e now so e would be simply e that here comes to the problem said e minus f that is not possible so we take a borrow here okay and that borrow should be indicated in the carry flag when we perform this thing 
uh, using emulator so 16 plus e that means uh, 30 30 minus 15 would be uh, f or 15 so that should be the result so let's see uh, if it is going to come or not so yes this is the result we were expecting f e 89 okay so far that's okay uh, and furthermore one can see flag carry flag is equal to one which indicates that a borrow was taken okay okay we performed uh, sub instruction and we had a borrow and we will be using that borrow in SBB instruction so we gonna proceed further let's say we use move another number which is moved in CX move 2508 and this time we are going to use sub SBB command we will be subtracting uh, cx comma bx so that means uh, what going to happen and let me write in comments uh, cx minus bx furthermore is there if there was any carry or a borrow that will also subtract it so we have a carry one so let's see uh, what is going to happen okay uh, we know that cx is equal to 2508 okay and bx is equal to currently fe89 what is the current value of bx fe89 and we also subtracting one uh, like there was a carry okay just remove it first so we have to follow 8 minus 9 that is not possible we have to take a borrow here a borrow so 16 plus 8 24 24 minus 9 should be what 15 so that means F will be here okay that means 1 was taken here so 16 F minus 8 should be 7 I believe you can do it yourself I'm just doing it uh, uh, quickly okay that was 4 and 1 was for 20 20 minus 14 should be 6 okay and now we have a borrow here a borrow uh, just place for in the right position a borrow and 16 plus 1 should be 17 okay that should be 2 okay that's that is the result here and a we have a bar that is the result uh, from these two subtraction and furthermore we have to subtract one from it because there was a borrow in the last so f minus e would become e7 okay and remaining the rest things will be same 6 2 so that's it i hope you have clear it so we're gonna see this thing in results uh, let me put those things in comment okay so when we are going to run this program uh, furthermore uh, 267 e should appear in cx remember destination is this time cx so we're gonna do it now how we're gonna evaluate it yes we're gonna just single step single step these things are already done so cx is moved yes and okay there is a mistake I put a missed hexadecimal sign here so that was just decimal so let me email it again yes single step F089 EF12 FE89 okay this is the last step that we learned in subtraction CX should be the na new value 2508 yes now things are correct so we can see 267E is correctly appeared here that means subtraction uh, spb command is following this uh, subtraction and furthermore in with, within this subtraction we had a borrow as well so this borrow is also mentioned here i hope the points are clear okay uh, now we are going to learn about dec instruction or the decrement instruction 
so that's very simple instruction that means uh, we have just we have just one value let's say ax comma one two four five hex so whenever one is going to use decrement command that means the this command is going to just decrement that number so decrement ax means decrementing ax in by one so let's see what's going to happen evaluate it uh, flag register I've just open it just to see if there is any effect okay single step one two four five is here and we gonna subtract it uh, sorry we gonna decrement it so look it has become one two four four so that's it uh, parity flag is generated so probably there is an even parity I hope this is quite easy so let's proceed to the next thing okay next instruction is an easy negative which means which makes any number negative so let's say we have move ax comma one two three four five or easy number so that you one can easily understand let's say we move the only zero seven hacks here so uh, we have to convert it into negative so negative ax so we know that zero seven is positive number and it is we want to convert into let's say minus zero seven so what is going to happen uh, this is just a comment uh, zero seven means zero 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 uh, zero one triple one that should be the and since it was okay let's make it make it more easy al just eight bit number because we can took that operand into eight bit operand so okay that was just eight bit and now we are going to make it negative so we know that to make any number we to make a number negative we have to make it uh, we have to convert into two's complement form so i'm just converting into two's complement form i hope you all you know it if you know don't please go through it yes that is the two's complement form that will be If you don't remember I, ju I can just recall it for you uh, you have to you have to start from the right side and you have to go to the very first one uh, just repeat the number so one is one and then you have to invert all other numbers so that means uh, that should be what that should be F and that should be nine so uh, the negative number uh, the positive number was 07 and the negative is F9 so these are the expected results so let's see if it is going to come in emulator or not so I'm going to emulate this simple program move AL first instruction move AL comma 07 so 07 is moved here and we gonna press another single step so one can see F9 is here carry flag which was supposed to be here because we are subtracting it from zero so that is quite easy to understand i hope this point is clear so if you want to make any number negative you have to use this command neg okay next thing we are going to discuss decimal adjustment after subtraction so we have to use some bcd number and subtract them so let's say we are using 24 bcd number uh, and move it into let's say ax so 24 is moved in ax then we move another number let's say we this use this time yes 1 2 hex so 24 minus 12 should be 12 but we know that if we gonna subtract it in emulator that will be using hexadecimal so there will be some adjustment which need to be taken so before we perform this adjustment so 24 minus 1 2 that should be quite easy uh, okay, we have to change some numbers. So let's say uh, What should be yes six yes Yes, okay So 24 minus 6 in BCD it should be very easy. It should be 0 8. It's quite easy But in hexadecimal, let me put it here 2 4 1 6 okay so 4 minus 6 is not possible we're gonna take a borrow borrow would be here so 16 plus 4 20 20 minus 6 would be 
14 that means e will be appearing and 1 minus 1 should be 0 so hexadecimal result is 0 e but we expect 0 8 in bcd so we want to convert this 0 e into 0 8 uh, so we will be using this command which is called das decimal adjustment after subtraction so i'm just going to put these things in comment okay so let's see what is going to happen once we are going to evaluate single step 24 is moved another single step 16 is moved look 0 e is appeared but we were expecting 0 8 so what we are going to do we are going to do das so yes look 0 8 is appeared so that is the meaning of direct decimal adjustment after subtraction uh, uh, we have done the same thing after addition as well daa uh, i hope you have practiced it in addition instruction uh, only one thing is remaining that is called uh, ascii adjustment after subtraction i hope you can do it yourself if you still got any problem you can ask me in online session and we can perform that subtraction in online session as well so that's it from this lecture and if you have any query in this lecture please note them down and we will be trying to resolve those in online session thank you for listening